The murders of Noblin and Edwards in Isle of Wight County, just one of four separate double homicides, commonly called the Colonial Parkway murders. Now, some are wondering if Alan Wilmer Sr. is linked to the other cold cases. Let's verify. Between 1986 and 1989, eight people were found dead on or near the Colonial Parkway. In each incident, a young couple was killed, and the victims were either found dead inside a car or the car was abandoned, just like in the murders of Noblin and Edwards. But despite the similarities, Virginia State Police are not tying Wilmer Sr. to the other cold cases at this time. Although the similarities in these series of double homicides that spanned a three-year period cannot be ignored, at this time, there is no forensic nor physical evidence to link the Isle of Wight County homicides to those other double murders. So we can verify that no, at this time, Alan Wilmer Sr. is not connected to the other three double homicides collectively known as the Colonial Parkway murders. Now, I spoke with the families of the other murder victims who told me they're hoping people come forward with information that could help solve these cases. It's very difficult to wait 37 years for answers. Bill Thomas still has a lot of questions about what happened to his sister, Kathy Thomas. Kathy is one victim in a series of killings known as the Colonial Parkway murders. And police say Alan Wilmer is responsible for at least one of the double homicides. But as the brother of a murder victim, I can't help but um, take some real joy in seeing families get answers. While police have not directly connected Wilmer to Kathy's death, her brother is hoping more information will be brought to light to help solve the other cold cases now that police identified a suspect in at least one of the Colonial Parkway murders. Somebody here in Virginia has to know more about the history of this gentleman. The mother of another victim is also hoping people who knew Wilmer will come forward with information. Joanne Haley's daughter, Cassandra Haley, disappeared in 1988. The only thing that... This thing can do, bringing it out, is shake the wool out of the trees because there's some people who know what happened and they're just too afraid to come forward. Both Haley and Thomas are asking anyone who may have information about Wilmer and his whereabouts in the 1980s to come forward. Need people to think long and hard about have they ever crossed paths with this man. The family of another Colonial Parkway murder victim is also speaking out. Keith Call disappeared alongside Cassandra Haley back in 1988. Keith's sister, Joyce Call, said she's asking anyone with information about Alan Wilmer to contact the police. She said, quote, our family is hopeful that our case will have closure very soon.